great potential having uh, images here in our own museum. First of all, students are very loyal to DePaul. An image from far away here in our midst is a good kind of uh, esquisse, it's a good kind of rigor for beginning to think about images in general. So I think the, the process of having uh, images in our museum, it's not just uh, a game, it's not just the thrill of having it here, it's also uh, a beginning to, to train your eyes so you can see something you never saw before. The reason I like to use museum vi uh, visits in my coursework is to help my students enjoy the learning process. That distinction between showing them something that's in their textbook, that they've talked about for three weeks, and then bringing them to an object, and also letting them know that this is an object at DePaul. That is, it's part of their world. It's not separate from it. It's not like some other culture, some other museum that's downtown. But to see it as a kind of seamless part of their own environment, and for them to kind of take ownership of that, and to realize it really is part of their life, I think that's a really important part of getting them into the museum itself. You can talk about images and now with the web you can have students you know, Google an image and get the image immediately and there's a kind of false hope that because the images can be replicated, because the images can be pulled up on the screen so quickly that suddenly we, we understand them, we know them, we're in their midst. But when you actually go into an exhibit that's so beautifully designed, so pedagogically well constructed. My students go to the exhibit and then they were given a sheet that in which they had to describe the three of the most powerful works that they viewed. They were then required to write uh, why at that while it was fresh, why those three in particular affected them. The course that I used the museum resources for was a Discover Chicago class. We began that course uh, by looking at a couple of photographs uh, that the museum has in its collection. The course had as its theme a death in the city. And so we made an appointment to uh, come in and look at those works. And we were led back into the working area of the museum. And I think that was actually very interesting uh, for the students. And so to be so close and to relate them to these uh, works of art in such an intimate way, that impressed the students a good deal and I could feel that they, uh, they, they were appreciative of that opportunity. And what I want the students to do is to really describe the object. This is always something we have them do. Uh, we have visual culture all around us, but it's surprising when you ask students to articulate what is an object? What is a focus? What is the quality of the drawing? What is the importance of this drawing as opposed to some other drawing? That they know it internally because they're surrounded by visual culture, but having to express it is a completely different skill that they often don't, uh, are, are not familiar with in their lives. And so that idea of expressing it and putting into words what it is they're seeing gives them a, a different relationship to the object. They start to look much more closely. I usually make reference to specific pieces to, that they'll be focusing on prior to us going in. I always give my students written guidelines and I always go with them to the museum. I want them to not simply walk through and skim. I want them to focus on uh, direct references that I've previously prepared them for in lectures. there's a lot of possibilities for what you could do in the classroom. You could assign a particular work of art and ask the student to go deeper into the, the artist or the history of that, or you could take a group of objects as it relates to that art historical tradition, have the students research that, or you could even take a, a group of, of objects and then have the students react more experientially. If I encountered a new faculty member who was interested in using the museum more effectively, the first thing I'd recommend is that he or she visit the museum regularly. First quarter, I would say don't use it yet. See the exhibits, get to know the curator, get to know the type of exhibits that are done. Then I would look to what exhibits will be coming in the future and see whether just from reading about the coming attractions, 
it looks like something that could be correlated to your coursework. And I would argue that if you look hard enough, almost anything can be correlated from the arts to your work. Really, when you see a student who isn't interested in the object uh, and is there for other reasons, uh, and they might be merely practical to get rid of a credit, if you see that student really say, you know, I really enjoyed that, and by the way, I was in one part of the gallery, but did you see the work in the other part of the gallery? You know, that's really a very satisfying experience.